have more on that tonight at 10 o'clock. Well, the cure for many common diseases isn't necessarily being researched here on the ground, but high above the earth. And tonight's Eyewitness News Extra, reporter Kevin Quinn shows us how NASA researchers are hoping the lack of gravity will help them prevent cataracts and much more. Liftoff. It's 35 million miles from Earth to Mars. A round trip would take two and a half years. Until now, the longest anyone has spent in space is just over a year. So long-term effects on humans are still unknown. Because of the absence of gravity and because of the radiation exposure, the effects of aging are accelerated. Over a third of astronauts report changes in their vision. What's more, those who fly to the moon and back or who spend a long time exposed to space radiation are six times more likely to develop cataracts than someone on Earth. That's why NASA researchers like Dr. Rafat Ansari are trying to diagnose diseases of the eye sooner. And the best way to see what happens to astronauts' eyes is to replicate the conditions. Looking good, looking good, looking real, real good. They do so high above the Gulf, aboard a KC-135 dubbed the Weightless Wonder. I'm holding it. That's okay. He's doing fine. Repeatedly climbing to 39,000 feet, then diving sharply to produce zero gravity, Ansari and his staff track the effects of prolonged weightlessness on blood flow throughout the body and near the eye. Every tissue type and every fluid type in the human eye essentially represent every tissue type and every fluid type in the rest of the human body. So what we have here is a little laser. Ansari's research has led to the development of this device, now being tested at the National Eye Institute. It uses laser light to probe the eye, determining early signs of cataracts. If we truly understand a disease, then we can prevent it. Dr. Jerry Sabag is an eye surgeon from Southern California. On this day, he was one of Ansari's test subjects. Very good, Jerry. He says if you can peer into the eye and see cellular signs of cataract formation, you should also be able to predict things like diabetes, which is the number one reason for amputation, kidney transplantation, cause of blindness in adults, and heart disease, our nation's biggest killer. If we can get a handle on diabetes, early and make uh, an impact on the costs to our society, it will free up enough money to pay for all of our social ills. Ten years ago, Dr. Ansari's father developed cataracts, so the research he does here, he says, is personal. Very rewarding, okay, personally to me to see that just a little effort on my part can help millions of, you know, Americans and people worldwide. Kevin Quinn, 13 Eyewitness News. If you would like more information on the research, you can log on to www.abc13.com.